Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's conversation around why Black Lives Matter. We are looking at the topic of Election Day healing for today. So we'd like you to please feel free to share your comments, your thoughts, your insights in our comments section. Um, and yeah, I'm going to open it up to the team because for me, it's not Election Day. So <laughs> I'd like to get a sense from the rest of the team how they experienced the day and what feelings come, um, came up for them. I can start. Um, well, four years ago, I was a lot different. I was doing a lot, um, just like feeling a lot different. Um, and kind of just, it's right. I've been doing a lot of looking back at how I, I felt um, when during the last election. And I know that's kind of like how people are feeling right now. Um, maybe like in here in our community and maybe in a lot in like the rest of the world. Um, I felt like the world was ending <laughs> um, because I put so much power um, into the government as my source. And I thought like when Donald Trump was elected that like the world was just gonna like go to shit and we were all just gonna die. <laughs> like that's how I felt. That's not what I was saying, but I, I felt like like it was, we were doomed. Um, obviously looking back at that now, it's really funny to me cause I'm still here and I'm like way better than ever um and honestly like that election <laughs> helped me on my ascension journey um it helped me awaken to like um a lot of like dark stuff i was holding on to so i could actually like like look at that and like see why i was holding on to that and heal it um and yeah um now i'm just feeling a lot more like safe <laughs> with this election like I know we're gonna be okay and um yeah like I I know there is still a lot of fear um to be worked through around this like like I've been seeing a lot of memes and like TikToks like well I hope for <laughs> like Trump doesn't win again, so we don't have to be stressed out. And everyone's like, <laughs> I sound like SNL people are like, well, let's go drink. <laughs> We're gonna drink either way, or I don't know. It's like, uh, I know there's just I I I feel a lot more peace though. Um, knowing that like God is my true government, God is my true leader. Um, and God is not um gonna abandon us if a new leader is elected or is still um, the president. Um, yeah, uh, cause yeah, whatever happens we're, we're safe and protected and loved and supported. Yeah. Feels good. Does anyone have thoughts or things coming up around that? Like, Deji leaned in a little bit. I feel like, were you gonna say something or? I wasn't, I was just coming closer to the screen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool, no worries. Yeah. So I will let you know what the card is currently is willingness you are able to compromise if the end result is love. Mm, yeah, that's like the big thing here is like, like there is a lot of contrast in the world right now and like we don't need to attach to it and mm. think that's like how we need to be acting and how we need to feel. Um, Cause like we know like the core of everything is love and that we can just keep choosing that and that um, that will be good. Yeah, this like reminded me of like um, Jeff's prophecy about how like 
like all this contrast is happening in the world and like how it, like a lot of it is br being brought up because it's like like the the world's kind of like fighting to hold on to ego right now fighting to hold on to like war and like conflict and not peace um but yeah we it's uh important we keep on choosing peace and keep on um staying the course yeah because that's perfect that's what how we are protected and loved and yeah <sighs> yeah feels good <laughs> i'm feeling like some anxiety like coming up but i'm just choosing to let that go yeah how else are you feeling marley um yeah i'm just <laughs> just yeah like <sighs> i feel um there's just this part of me that needs to be comforted. Mm. Yeah. And can you just give her that comfort? Yeah. Good. Is there anything else she needs in that space? Um, I'm like shivering a little. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. The comfort. Mm hmm. Yeah. Is there anything else coming up there? Hmm. I think like part of me is just like, like wanting like the world to like, like I want to comfort the world. I want, I think right. I'm trying to like be God here and I can just let that go. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah, you're not the source of that for anyone. And realistically, when we try to do that for another person, it's because we're desiring it for ourselves. Mm. And so then we try and give it to another because we're so afraid to give it to ourselves. So all we have to do is just give it to ourselves. We leak our energy otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <sighs> yeah, just to give that comfort to myself. Good. How's that feel now? Uh, yeah, she's just, the, the, <laughs> that part of me is just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is she like afraid of all the love and comfort or how's she feeling? Um, yeah, she's just, I just need to choose like go resistance here. Mm. So, yeah, we're, we're good. Mm. Yeah, it's okay to receive comfort and Amen. not choose to um, be stressed and overwhelmed. It's a choice. I just let that go. Amen. Yeah, stress and overwhelm do not serve you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Good. And how are you feeling now? Yeah, like a, a lot of that stress was like, let go. Feels good. Good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, you're just releasing, right? And yeah, dodgy zoning good. too. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we're all releasing that. We're releasing. Um, we're releasing and uh, bringing more space for peace and love in that space of and comfort. What you said, right? Yeah. Cool. Me even I yawned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I yawned again, too. probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. All right. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Anything else coming up about the elections for you, about how you're feeling? Um, well, my mind started thinking about, like, I, I saw some TikToks about how, like, like uh, LA is, like, boarding up all their shops and everything. There's just, like, that fear that's, like... Mm -hmm. New York, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doing it in Pittsburgh. <laughs> Yeah, maybe in, maybe in most cities. Mm -hmm. um, I think people are, are sensitive. Last time. Well, they're also sensitive about what's happened with the riots. It's like, basically, they're protecting themselves because what happens, and we were actually talking to Jeff about this too, like, um, 
like people like people that did the riots or like that like did any of that stuff it was all <laughs> yeah, like we were talking it was about they, they were just expressing themselves right like and like no do they need to express themselves that way likely not is it maybe an appropriate way to express yourself maybe not but hey all the power to them that's they were, how they felt that's how they felt <laughs> they, they were like, like, really I upset know. right <laughs> and so there is a lot of tension and upset regarding this election and mm. so you know everybody just has to be compassionate with each other and the most compassionate thing for certain cities to do is to take precautions until it's very clear that um you know uh that that there's a level of uh, a boundary right that, that they're putting up yeah you know and um when they when you take the, that kind of level of precaution and stuff like that doesn't typically end up happening at all <laughs> right and you're like oh did we do that for nothing well no like spiritually speaking you put up a boundary and that's kind of like why it didn't end up happening if they had not done it but like oh well maybe it's not gonna happen then maybe it only happens in a couple stores but still happen right so the community yeah. is putting a boundary there saying you can be upset but you do that in the comforts of your own home you, you don't have to you know express that <laughs> Yeah, because one thing that always um, triggered me with elections is like, I don't know who the fuck is on the electoral <laughs> college. So, I mean, oh. kind of like last time, the same thing happened. It was like the popular vote was Hillary, I guess. Is that what sure. happened? Sure. Yeah, that's what happened. Won. Hillary, right. Hillary was the popular vote and electoral electoral uh, yeah <laughs> well it's interesting i mean we have some people who aren't from america here too and like i'm curious like how you guys feel about your governments uh and the way that they do things but yeah like yeah i want to hear that the too. electoral mm-hmm. colleges are interesting right like um it is a it is a like there's some part of it that makes sense but then there's other parts of it, like there's the whole gerrymandering too, mm. which I wish Kalita was here. She'd be speaking so much more eloquently on the things that yeah. I don't really know about. <laughs> but um, yeah. I, I actually recently saw a video about like why the electoral college was made. Oh, okay. And um, it was honestly, like, like part of it was because there were slave states and there were not like non-slave states. And they wanted, like, it was about keeping the union together, basically. And so, because there was, I don't know, and they wanted to count slaves as people. um, And then they only, like, counted them as, like, one-fourth of a person. It's, like, really crazy. (laughs) And we still have the system, like, that started with, like, slavery. Okay. Still triggering. Wow. (laughs) You know, and this is interesting too, because Stasia and I have been moving through this exact upset. We've been doing a lot of like cultural um, healing. And um, one of the things that came up that we've been working through is this like slavery feeling, Um, right? Um, You know, we've both had like work, like laziness blocks and work traumas and stuff like that. So I I think it's interesting that you know, slavery is being brought up right now because it's something that we've been like significantly working through. I'm sure in a past life, either both of us or one of us experienced that. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause I was always black. <laughs> this is like the first time that I'm like part white. <laughs> yeah. Jeff, Jeff told her that she's part white so that she can like help bridge the gap, like bridge the two worlds. So that's mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool, yeah. What is everybody else feeling and thinking? Open the floor. Well, I love that you're talking about like bridging the gap there because our next card was unity. You understand Um, that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. Wow. I love it. I love that card. (laughs) Because it's like your thing too, Kanisha. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Yeah, how are you feeling there? 
Habe ich hier an. Just nervous, I guess. Yeah, where is the nervousness coming from? Okay, um, now I feel sad. <laughs> um, I guess just like, I don't know. I just choose to love myself. Yeah. I think because of the unity thing, like, um, I'm just kind of like, why can't we all just like Get along. not be racist <laughs> and whatnot? It's like, <laughs> right, um, right. Yeah. I mean, like, you, we were talking about this too, like, you know, um, how, where all of this rooted from, like, like, like slavery stuff, right? Like where the, like, what is the core upset here um, with the, the cultural slavery block, right? And essentially, you know, in Africa, um, you know, a lot of them, I don't know the, a, a lot of history, but they all lived in Africa, right? And they were taken from their homes in Africa and brought to America under the assumption they'd be living a better life and then were put into slavery, right? And so um, it's like an abandonment block of abandoning yourself that we've been looking at. I don't know if that resonates for anybody, but that's what I resonated with when I like kind of like felt into what that felt like, what that would have felt like. It's kind of like reminding me of like, like a fall from heaven, basically. Like yeah. God invited mm -hmm. you out of that um, heaven. Right. And yeah. Damn. <laughs> That's <laughs> on point. <laughs> it seriously is. Mm-hmm. Because I was thinking about it, I'm like, okay, this is my upset. Like, obviously, I have enslaved myself. Right. Mm. You know, because mm. of the mirror exercise. Mm -hmm. So, like, what Marley said is literally um, perfect. Mm. It's like, instead of choosing heaven, you chose hell. Right. But, like, the, the difference here is, is that you can, like, just make the choice to be in heaven, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, our card, I <laughs> love these cards, <laughs> is uh, <laughs> responsibility. <Ooh. laughs> you are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. But yeah, it's like we are completely responsible of our individual choice. And so mm. it is safe to really, um, just forgive ourselves in this place and just make a new choice of having our heaven on earth and Amen. really letting go of uh, ego and wanting to attach to hell. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So anyone else want to take the floor? <laughs> <laughs> We're blabbers. What can we say? <laughs> We're moving through a lot. Moving through a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's all right. You just had our next piece. So thank you. Yeah. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. We so Drake, popcorn um... Drake. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I was gonna speak anyways. I was kind of just waiting for that, and then Gal was like, "Ah!" But um, well, I have like the same upset as Marley, which is like, like, and and you guys too. Like, why is why is everyone like racist? Like, why can't we all just be like unified? Like, it's not a hard thing. Like, it's really not hard, you know. And um, because I I just like voted before this, and my experience, like, I don't know. I was nervous. I was the first time. Like, I'm voting. Woohoo! And um, like where I voted, there was the like the Trump side and then the Biden side, and there's like people standing there. And I'm just like walking, I'm 
just I'm like focused like, I'm not gonna say anything I'm just gonna go and the first thing I hear is like on my what what is it my left side from the Trump people and they're like make sure you vote for what are they what were they like they were like make sure you vote for like the things that matter not the personality and it and it like made me so angry and I like but and I but I didn't say anything back to them like it but it took me every ounce of me to just be like keep your peace Drake don't say anything don't start anything because the old me would have like started something like I would have like yelled and got in their face and be like don't talk to me like I don't want to talk to you you know but I but I just thought that it was really interesting how like and I'm not I'm not trying to like do stereotypes or whatever um but like the Trump side like they instantly said something to me and the Biden side was just like chill and we're let him walk in you know whatever and I just that really like upset me oh, so how do you feel about it now I'm really mad like I'm <laughs> okay really mad but under that madness is just like it's just sadness um hmm. because I just I don't understand how people think it's okay to like like follow somebody and then just have hate in their hearts you know like like somebody not saying that Donald Trump promotes hate or whatever I mean I'm not trying to like put my views out there but he's just the things he says and the things that he stands for is not what I agree with right and the people that like some people that follow him are just very hateful and very racist and very violent and I just I don't understand how like people can do that or how people think it's okay to just like be like, oh, this is my president and that makes me okay to be like violent or, or racist. I don't know if that makes sense, but. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that says because they're not in alignment with you. They're not in alignment of love mm -hmm. and you're recognizing the separation and that's where the upset is coming from. Yeah, and it's just really painful because I don't want like, I don't want the world to be like that. Like, I don't know. I know it's not my responsibility. But I just feel really sad. Yeah. Is it okay to surrender here and release attachment to that? Yeah. Yeah. What else do you need in this space? Just that, like, God has everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. <sighs> yeah. I guess there's just, like, a part of me that's like I'm more relaxed than last election, but there's still like this part of me that's really afraid of like what's gonna happen because like again, like people are boarding up their businesses and my sister like sent to me um like this picture because apparently there's like this picture going around saying that like if if Biden wins that um that like Trump supporters are planning to like shoot people. Like mm. and it's just I I'm I'm trying to not give power to fear, but it's just like really upsetting. Yeah. I was going to say, what is the truth? Like, what is really real? Love. Love, exactly. And so <gasps> it's safe to focus on love and release that attachment to the fear, release the attachment to the illusion that part of the world is feeding into. Yeah. And that's okay. We can have compassion for them. We yeah. choose to still love them unconditionally. I guess there's so just, we don't have to feed into that. Yeah, I just there's like this part of me that feels helpless, you know. Hmm. What does that part of you need? Just um, like I don't have to do God's job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like God, God is in charge of like protecting everybody and making mm -hmm. sure that safe. And as long as people are choosing that for themselves. Yeah. Absolutely. Can you give yourself that protection that you desire for yourself and for your brothers and sisters? Yeah. Good. And how are you feeling now? <sighs> um, I guess I just feel better. Um, like a little better, but um, I just feel more sad. I don't know. Okay. 
I just really love everybody and I want to see everybody like making like the same choice in love, but I know I can't, like, I can't do that. I can't like choose two people. <laughs> yeah, it's just letting go of like attachment to other people's mm-hmm. choices and realizing yeah. that like God is my source and I'm choosing to only follow God. Exactly. Your card is kindness. You are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share the energy with others. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I really care about people. (laughs) Absolutely. Absolutely. So just giving yourself all of that love and that kindness and that will be reflected back in your reality. It's always an inner job. If we're not liking something in our reality, we always have to go within. Yeah. We just love ourselves. You're so powerful. Yeah. It feels good to know, like, uh, like I, I know, like last election, I was really, really bad. But now, mm-hmm. like, no, like, I have a choice and it's okay. And with that choice, like, I'm powerful. And Absolutely. Yeah, and like I don't need to look at what other people are choosing because that's not my choice. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, I think one of the themes that I'm recognizing is um, how uncomfortable and how terrified people were four years ago, but how much we've grown and expanded and really started to be in the vibration of love instead of fear. And it seems like a lot more people are in clarity of what they truly desire instead of being stuck in the illusion that is being presented to us. Yeah, definitely. I definitely can feel that too. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and how are you feeling now? Um, I'm just cold. <laughs> it's kind of cold in my room. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just shaking a little bit too. I think it's, I'm just like up here and there's a lot of energy like moving through right now. Mm-hmm. So. But I feel, feel a lot more relaxed. Now I just like let myself cry. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <sighs> do you feel complete here? You want to integrate or do you want to go a little deeper? I mean, I feel that there's something deeper. I just don't know what it is. Yet. Is it I, safe to feel your feelings? Yeah. Hmm. This, I don't know, this is just what came up, but it's like, there's a part of me that's like, well, is God this passionate about people? Like, does God want the whole world to change? Like, obviously, yeah, like, yeah. I'm part of, part of God. But like, I guess there's this part of me that still believes that that can't really be possible or like I don't know how to explain it but it's like I don't know it doesn't really make sense yeah (laughs) it's because you think that there's still a part of you that thinks that um it's just this like uh this uh lack of feeling not enough like somehow we're not enough or doing enough for god to really love us fully yeah yeah is it safe to let that go yeah it is yeah. what else is coming up to you here I don't feel anything else, so I think I, I think I'm complete. Unless somebody mm. <laughs> thinks that I'm not. No, it's okay. I feel you just need to ground now because there's like a lot of energy. Yeah, well, God is very passionate about us. We are His creation, His perfect child. Absolutely passionate about us. So it's okay to really just release and let that go. Yeah. He's even passionate about Trump. He loves his all of his children. <laughs> all of his children. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. 
I wanted to share one. something from what you what you said, um, Kanisha, um, about Trump. Um, like that Trump is also God's child and like he's, you know, whatever. <laughs> and I like, I, I've like noticed a pattern that I have within myself as a white man um, that it's like kind of the same pattern that Trump has where like, um, it, like it was brought to my attention that Trump kind of has this like, uh, I guess the terminology is personality cult, but I, I don't like using the word cult in general, but like basically like he says what you want to hear in order to be loved. And I really truly believe that like, um, I think that that's likely like a, an upset, like for a lot of like white men in general. Um, and like, that's why they're like so harsh maybe because they're really not like loving themselves and so they just like say whatever they need to say to like to love so yeah I see this part of myself that feels that way and I feel too like as you talk more about it it, it I think it's just a pattern that's really ingrained because I think in the past um white men were actually allowed to kind of just say whatever they wanted and do right. whatever they wanted and just right. was allowed to get away with it right. um they almost had the sense of um the word that's coming to me is like entitlement yes um yeah and so it's uh coming to the realization they don't quite really i mean they do have their free will and they do have um freedom to do as they desire but now there are a lot of uh consequences and con contrast that come with it mm, it's like yeah it, it's it's like all those years of you know um of karma are catching up with us mm -hmm. yeah mm, yeah how are you feeling um sad What's the opposite there, right? I think it's just like, um, like I, uh, I'm moving through, like, I'm, I'm so afraid of like hurting people that like, I just like overly give my like love because I'm trying to like, uh, overcompensate because I'm so afraid of like abusing someone. So you're abusing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like you need to make up for something that somebody else did? Or do you feel like you can just perfectly love everybody around you? I can just perfectly love everyone around me. Can you go ahead and make that choice at the core now? Yes. What else is coming up for you? Um... Yeah, I'm just like releasing a lot of sadness here. So what is the sadness about today? About being who I am, like that like who I am is like somehow bad, like. Okay, but what is the truth of you, Ray? What is the divine truth of who you actually are? Um, <laughs> I'm a divine child of God. And as a divine child of God, can you be intrinsically bad? No. So can you let that go now? Yes. What would you like to replace it with? Um, <laughs> seeing that I am good and I am um, perfect as I am. Would you like to do that now? Yeah. How do you feel now? relief I like the minute I started making those choices it was like just lighter that's perfect yeah. do you realize that you've been carrying something that wasn't you carry yeah yeah how are you feeling now a lot better thank you so much Granville does it feel complete <sighs> yeah 
yeah, it was like the minute I made those choices like that, I literally felt it like complete lightness on my chest. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's so Thank perfect. you so much. Yeah, I, I felt that. That was great. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that with us. Mm -hmm. So your card, okay, I, I always try to say this word and I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's spontaneity. Spontaneity. Oh. That's okay, what? Thank you. Sorry, say that word again. Spontaneity. Spontaneity. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm just helping a sister out here. <laughs> um, you move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I definitely feel like I was like purifying my mind in that moment. I think that's why I just like had this like sense of lightness, right? Um, mm. It was a thought form that I was kind of like holding on to and, you know, letting it go just <laughs> felt so much better. Yeah, so. completely releasing it. Yeah. Um, I'll go. Okay, so... How I'm feeling right now uh, about this election, right now I feel excitement because I feel so confident in choosing, sorry. I feel so confident in, <laughs> I feel so confident in choosing, you know, the person that stands for what I stand for, which is, you know, unity. And another thing is going, thinking back on, you know, past elections, the first time I ever voted was when I was 19. That was 2012. I just told my age. <laughs> um, yeah, 2012. I, I didn't really think too much on it. I was just excited to, you know, vote my favorite president back into the White House because that was his second term. And with uh, the 2016 election, I didn't really care that much on it because I didn't want either of them in the White House. I was just doing it because, uh, whatever, I'll, I'll vote for Hillary, who cares? But um, did, I f do, did I feel bad when it, when it came to Trump? Not exactly. I was just looking at what I saw, people just you know panicking and crying on social media. I remember the day uh, he got in, like I just saw a whole bunch of like live feed crying, that's it. And I remember seeing Miley Cyrus crying <laughs> on, on that, that day when he got elected. That's, our, that's what I remember, that was four years ago, such a long time ago. And I feel like with the time that he's been here, it showed, you know, what's the, I wanna use the best word for this it actually revealed who we really are. You know, that some people are uh, that, that aren't choosing love, that are choosing ego and just, you know, sticking to that and choosing to stick, choosing to stick with that. And do, hmm, okay, cause right now I'm just feeling excitement. I'm just feeling excitement right now. Um, do I feel sad? So how do you I, feel? Because right now I'm just excitement. It's really just excitement right now, but I'm trying yeah, to- Yeah, do you choose to ground here? It's okay. Yes. Yeah, just relax. Yeah, it's okay to be happy and joyful, but in a grounded place. This is something, this is a reason why Drake and Marley are here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Their soul fam is super grounding. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it feels good to ground. Yeah, what's that feeling coming up? Um. What are you anxious about? Because a lot of times excitement is anxiety. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. 
that's what, and that's what we talked about in TFAS before. I mm -hmm. don't feel anxiety. No, I don't feel anxiety. Okay, so, so maybe... what is this feeling? Hmm. There's something not like, good I there. Feel like, I feel like it's under, like underneath it, it's just, I can't tell if it's pity for myself or pity for others. Okay, so helplessness. Helplessness. Yeah, or like powerlessness, you know, if you're like self-pitying yourself. Mm. It's like a victim mentality pattern mm. 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 it don't feel good uh, yeah a little bit a little bit, little bit. Little bit and that's okay I it just a little bit yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 so do yeah. you choose to claim all of your power yes mm -hmm. all my power yeah, because you have like everything inside to like choose the perfect government. Mm -hmm. You know, we all do. Government yeah. elective, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just give yourself all the love that you need here. <laughs> Seems like something clicked for you. Yeah. It feels better. Yeah, my phone just. Things as I, uh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Yep, and, and you, you know when anything good else. Beyond. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I, I think I just needed to ground myself to get yeah. to my place. Yeah. That's good. You're doing great. Okay. Is there anything else coming up? Hmm. I feel a little bit of sadness mm. and, I, and it's like, and again, uh, going back to feeling sad for those that are choosing ego means I'm feeling sad for myself. Mm. So, and, and, I, and I feel like it's a little bit of control of trying to do God's job, but I choose to release that. Good, yeah, perfect. So you choose to really let go of all ego bullshit. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to control. Do you choose to trust God here? Yes. God, God's gonna do His job, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. What else is coming up here? Yeah, I think it's still more sadness of trying to control. Mm. Yeah, what I've noticed is like whenever I'm controlling or just the pattern of when anyone is controlling, it's typically because they don't feel safe and they're not trusting God, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you do see this part of you that's feeling unsafe. Yeah. What, what do they need to feel love there? security from myself okay yeah. yeah can you can you also get security from god and do you god, have to god, yeah god, god as well yeah i mean it's one of the same but the way that you said it made me believe that <laughs> oh you mean like trusting myself no 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 that's so secure me giving that 
security to myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Terrible <laughs> wording, but yeah. I got you afterwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good. Yeah. And how does that feel to like have that comfort and security knowing that God's got you? That feels better. Yeah. It feels a lot better. Anything else coming up there? Um. Yeah, it's just me asking myself for more security. Yeah, good. You can just ground into that and keep giving him all the security that he needs so that he knows that he's completely safe. Yeah. Good. Is there anything else? Um, that feels complete. Just doing a little uh background again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And just ground that in. Yeah, Kanisha, you got a card? I do. I was actually guided to pull from the Power of Surrender cards, Mm -hmm. um, but it's almost the same (laughs) as the other deck. So from the other deck is release, but this one says, uh, surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and store in your life. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Does you have that feel? That resonated. Yeah. Good. Anything else coming up for you? You're doing great. That feels complete. Good. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Feels complete. Good. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Good job. Um, does anyone else resonate with what Deji said or want to take the floor and bring us to another topic? I remember we were asking um, Granville and Yareen. Oh, like, yeah. Their experience. About their governments and whatnot. Yeah, I'd love to hear more about that. Um, so, like, I think, like, the way we elect, um, the way our election, our, our election process is, is very different from the United States and um, we, we have um, like a direct election, if I can say so, or president at least, because we don't have a, an electoral college. Um, we just like vote and it's just by percentage of the population, like the people. Um, that we elect a president. And yeah, from what we said in the chat, like also our election process is very different as well. Like for example, like here we're allowed to vote by proxy with like regulations and strict authorization rules, but still, and we, we don't vote by mail, but I remember when I was studying like law and social sciences, like comparing the two election process, I guess like mail was, um, as well as, you know, like uh, the election, the electoral college, like uh, historical uh, process to kind of like get the ballots like all in. Um, in an easy way for the United States. And so like when we when we talked about it in the chat, like I felt like this like difference. Um, 
yeah, almost a barrier between our two countries. And like, I think that's um, one of the reasons why um, the US and some of the countries that like, don't understand themselves and like the, the politics can be, like the diplomatic state can be tense. Um, and yeah, I remember it not feeling very good. Like, you know, I want to discuss um, these things uh, in a peaceful manner with my brothers and sisters. I don't want to uh, have a passionate, almost violent debate where we're just gonna choose separation. And it makes me kind of sad. Yeah, that's what I felt. Um, what I wanted to share is like, like we see like a lot of like separation in government. Like you're seeing like that separation between our countries and stuff. And, um, but like what we're doing right now is we're creating our own government basically like based on unionism like like that's what we're healing like right now which feels really good <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i remember thinking that too like it is not a discussion about like who's better who has the better like system and who's getting it better it, it's just about healing and and creating our own like heavenly system. And so. Yeah, God's in charge, not this person or this idea. No, yeah, God, is, God is in charge, yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling, by the way? I'm feeling a little sad that we are going through something like like this in 2020, like that we are, that there is so much like as a, an experience of hell in the world. I feel quite sad about it. Yeah, but do you need to choose to experience the hell that others are choosing? Yeah. yeah. What does this part of you need to feel loved? She needs to know that she's loved. Yeah. Give her all that love. And she can choose to only experience that love and have compassion for the, the people who aren't choosing love. Know that they're on their own journey and they're choosing to struggle a little bit and experience some not so fun things, but it's, that's their journey and they're, they're on their way. I think what's coming up too, because one of our next card is release, but uh, what just came to mind is like really having to release attachment to my brothers and sisters who are not yes. choosing to align with <laughs> Um I think we have like a, kind of this like this um, feeling like we have to save everyone that because we have this tool and we have um, the truth of the power lies within ourselves that we now have to go save the world. And that is a huge energy leak. Don't do that. <laughs> so, yep. <laughs> um, it's safe to really just release our brothers and sisters and just fully surrender them to God. Um, yeah, and just allow it all to unfold organically um, and in divine order, really. Amen. Yeah.
God's taking care of them. <laughs> yeah. Even if they're even with, not wanting to be. <laughs> yeah. And even with like the last, uh, like you said, like um, you thought you were going to die <laughs> because <laughs> of the last election. It's like four years later and we're all we're alive. Like no, no one died because the president is the president in a sense. Um, but yeah, like it's really, God really took care of us in the last four years. Um, like Drake said, there are things about the president that's not so great. <laughs> he says things and does things, but in the same sense, um, there has been change. There has been expansion. There has been things that have evolved due to this person being in leadership and um, hopefully doing the things that he's been called to do in our uh, government, um, but really having to trust that God is always leading, even if it seems like that person isn't choosing to be led by God. God is always sitting on the throne. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yorin, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling a little bit better, yeah. I think what it is is that I need to, I don't know if this resonates with you guys, but I think I need to not be caught in that momentum uh, around elections of like stress and just running and running around and be like angry and pessimistic. Like now I know that I have a tool to just like approach this peacefully. Yeah. And as I say that I, I feel more relaxed. So good. How are you feeling? I feel good right now. Yeah. Does it feel complete? Mm -hmm. It does. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm just going to give you guys a very quick view of our, our political system because, yeah, um, so we have basically one political system. So it's a, it's a party system. There's no, there's none of this, like what you call it, an electoral college and all of that stuff. We don't have the debating process and all of that stuff. So, yeah, um, it's, it's much more a direct election. And initially, you had to belong to a party to kind of be put up for election in some form or another. But during the last six months, one of the things that so for us in South Africa, the Constitutional Court is the highest court. And one of the decisions of the Constitutional Court was that you don't you no longer have to have a party affiliation to put your name up for election. So you could, as, a, as an independent candidate, put your name up for election. So it is going to change the landscape of politics in South Africa a little bit. But I think um, the challenge for me has always been that the party system kind of creates the separation because it's almost that feeling of divide and conquer as opposed to, come of, as opposed to kind of bringing things together and having a solid, sensible opposition. You're totally right, because like even with Trump, Trump was like a, a Democrat for years. And then like when he decided he was running for president, all of a sudden he's like Republican, right? And so like, yeah, there, there's a whole thing around party stuff and things change all the time. It makes no sense. It really should just be the person, what they stand for and what they want to do in the position as president. So like, I, I think that's cool that South Africa does that. Yeah. Yeah, I love Not that. Not some new things, but we'll change the landscape a little bit. So we'll see how it pans out. I but yeah, it. ladies and gentlemen, we are at the top of our hour. So I'd like to thank all of you for participating. If we feel like this is a topic that we want to expand on next week, happy to do that. Um, just thank you to everybody that's joined us in comments. And also please feel free to like and subscribe to our videos on our Church of Union YouTube channel. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.